We need to refill the stock in our jewelry store, so I need you three to cry as much as you can. Now! This is our life. Every single day, me, Mika, and Amy were born with special abilities. <laughs> You. Come here at once! Why did it take you so long? Harvey has been calling you repeatedly! Um, we were playing Roblox, Mom. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't enough. When I ask you to come here, you need to get here at once, no matter what you're busy doing. If you don't, you're grounded. Is that understood? Yes. All right then, let's get on to more important matters. We need to refill the stock in our jewelry store, so I need you three to cry as much as you can. Now! You already made us cry yesterday morning. Ugh, can we just do it again? That's not how crying works, Dad. I can't just force it whenever I want. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to be rude. I just meant it. Take that back right now. I don't care what you meant. Never talk to me like that ever again. I'm sorry, Dad. All right, then. You need to help. You three need to start crying again. We got a really rich customer this time, and he wants to buy pretty much everything we have in our jewelry store. So I'm going to need you three to cry a lot. Now then, let's see. Aha! Perfect. I want you three to give as many gems as possible, and the one who gives the least gems is going to be grounded for a month. But that's not fair, Dad! You will start in three... Two, one. I can't believe this. This is our life. Every single day, me, Mika, and Amy were born with special abilities. I could cry topaz, Amy could cry amethyst, and Mika can cry rubies, the rarest of them all. We found out that we could cry gems when we turned five, and everything changed after that day. I don't think we'll ever know why we got these powers, but that doesn't really matter to us. We don't want these powers. We never asked for them. Ever since mom and dad found out about our abilities, they've been using us to get richer. They used our tears to open their own jewelry store and become one of the richest families in town, and soon in the whole world. I can't believe them. Well done, kids. Well done. This is incredible. So many rubies, so many topaz and amethyst. <laughs> I can already imagine all the money flowing into my bank account. There's no such thing as too much money. Looks like Mika cried the least amongst you three. All right, then. Mika, you're grounded for a month. cried as much as I could. Aw, but you didn't cry as much as Craig and Amy. Tsk, tsk. I tried my best. I'm sorry. Saying sorry is not going to change anything. If I say you're grounded, it means you're grounded. Now go to your room. We'll take your phone and you're not allowed to play Roblox. Not Mika again. Ugh, I should have purposely cried less so that I would have gotten grounded instead. Mika is the youngest out of all of us, but mom and dad always treat her the worst. It's not fair. All right, kids, your work here is done. Now get out of here. Why do they always treat me so badly? I just want them to love me, that's all! All I'm asking for is loving parents, but I can't even get that! They never pay attention to me! They never even see me unless they want me to cry rubies! That's all they care about! We're all in the same boat, Mika. They don't care about any of us. 
are you to say? It's really clear that you're the favorite child. You're the oldest after all. What? What do you mean? Amy, that's not true. Yes, it is. When was the last time you got punished for something? That's right, six months ago. When was the last time I got punished? Yesterday. And Mika, five minutes ago. You see what I mean? That's because I'm more responsible and aware of my actions than you are. It's as simple as that. So now you're insulting us. Isn't that just wonderful? Both of you need to calm down. Nothing is going to change if we continue arguing. We're only hurting ourselves the angrier we get at each other. So what should we do, Craig? How do we stop this? How do we make mom and dad treat us better? I, I don't know. I just can't think of any way for them to love us. I guess they changed. They've become really greedy. All they care about is money and nothing else. If we don't cry gems like we do right now, then I doubt we would even exist to them. They would have probably dropped us at some adoption center after we were old enough or something. No, mom and dad can change. It's still possible. I sure hope so. It's good to be hopeful, but I really don't see any world where mom and dad actually start caring about us again. We made 10 times our usual income this time. Can you believe it, Harvey? And all of it came from just one customer. We're really rich. Jane, the richest people in Brookhaven, and no one can touch us. Money, it's a powerful thing, isn't it? It's just like magic. There's no greater feeling in this world than having unlimited money. We're not done yet, though. We're going to get all the money the world has to offer. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Huh? Well, well, well. Look who it is. My lifelong rival, Stuart. Rivalry is only supposed to be between people that are almost equal in status and skill. But that's not the case for us, Harvey. I'll always be better than you. And that's why my jewelry store is much more successful than yours, right? Do you have any idea how rich we are right now? You're poor compared to us. You'll be out of business soon. <laughs> Do you want to know how much money we made this month? A million dollars in just one month. You can't even dream of earning that much money in one lifetime. And we earned it in one month, Stuart. <laughs> we got all that money from just one customer. He bought most of our jewelry stock in bulk and made us richer than we've ever been. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? If you're so thankful to this customer, then shouldn't you be thanking him when he's standing right in front of you? What? What do you mean? Why, I'm the customer that bought all your jewelry. <laughs> what? You... What are you up to, Stuart? Did you seriously think that I wasn't going to catch on? I always knew you both had a secret. A secret that you never wanted anyone else to know. This is the secret and the reason why you're so rich. This secret is the reason you have an unlimited stock of jewelry. I wanted to know what you were hiding. So I decided to order as much jewelry as possible from your store as an anonymous customer. Why, you little... You had to get your new stock from somewhere since you didn't have enough jewelry in your store to fulfill my order on the spot. So I hired a few PIs to follow you and track down every place you went after you received my order. The funny thing is, you never went to any bank, excavation site, secure facility, or anything of the sort. The only two places you went to since I placed my order was your house and this store. So that says it all. You have all your jewelry in your house. All of it. Congratulations. You figured out the obvious. 
Of course we have jewelry in our house, so what? No, but of course, that's not the end of the story. You seem to have an unlimited amount of jewelry in your house. Pretty suspicious, don't you think? So I went and installed some hidden cameras inside your house and ho 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 boy! I saw some very interesting things on my phone, Harvey! <laughs> you're, you're bluffing! There's no way! We have the best security in town! There's no way you could bypass that security and install hidden cameras in my house! Did you seriously forget who you're dealing with, Harvey? I'm Stuart, your lifelong rival. I've always been ahead of you in every part of life until you suddenly got rich out of nowhere and never explained to me how. I just got lucky was what you told me. I knew you were hiding something from that day on and now, <laughs> now I finally know your secret. It's your children. What do our kids have to do with this? Everything. Here, take a look at your kids in action. You were talking a lot of money earlier, weren't you? I agree, money is like magic, Harvey. It's the best feeling in the world. And it's exactly what I'm feeling right now with this video. And now I have you, your family, and your entire business at my fingertips. Now then, if you don't do everything I say, this video is going public. No, you're not. I know you very well, Stuart. You're probably thinking of how to use the powers of our kids and make unlimited money. If you release that video, the secret of the kids would be out and you wouldn't be able to use the kids' powers for yourself anymore. But if you could use the powers of the kids and keep it a secret, you could become as rich as possible without anyone suspecting you. Oh, you know me pretty well, Harvey. <laughs> that is to be expected, of course, but I'm still surprised. Well done, you're right. I won't be releasing the video to the public, but I can't guarantee that your kids will be safe anymore. What? What, what is that supposed to mean? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. I'm grounded. If mom and dad find out that I came to the park to play with you guys, they'll ground me for life. Don't worry. They won't find out. I won't let them. And how are you going to not let them find out? Uh, whatever. Let's just try and have a good time together. We rarely play together like this anyways. Mom and dad are usually at home, but today, they're out for much longer for some reason. They're probably selling all the gems that they got from us. We cried a lot this time. They had one really rich customer. Let's not think about mom and dad. Let's try and play in the park and forget about them for a minute. Let's try those swings over there. They look really fun. Yeah! I want to try the swings! kids seem to be having a lot of fun. Where are your parents right now? Um, we don't really know, miss. They're probably at work, but they're supposed to be home by now. Shh! We're not supposed to be talking to strangers. Remember what mom and dad told us? Come to think of it, I've never seen you kids around here before. Are you new here? Oh, um, that's right. Or no, we're just moved to Brookhaven. Oh, I guess that makes sense. But look what I've got for you today, kids. I made some cake and I was hoping you could try it out and let me know how it tastes. You made cake for us? 
Actually, it's not just for you kids because I'm giving free cakes to all the kids at the park here. It's my husband's birthday today, so it's a special day. You are a really nice lady. Happy birthday to your husband. Go ahead, try out the cake. We shouldn't try out the cake. What if she puts something dangerous inside? What if she's trying to trick us? Don't do it. Don't trust her. All right, I'll take one slice. Me too. Seriously? Why are they both being so careless? Mom and Dad told us to never talk to strangers, let alone take anything from them. They're eating the cake without any worry in the world. Would you like some cake too, sweetheart? No thanks. I'm already full, miss. Wow, this cake tastes so good. Did you really bake this yourself? I don't believe it. <laughs> Yes, I made it myself, and I worked really hard on it, so I'm glad you like it. I have more if you want. You can always ask for more. I can't believe it! How is this cake so good? It's probably the best cake I've ever tasted. Of course it is. Mom and Dad never give us any yummy food to eat at all, so everything is going to taste good. We're always stuck eating veggies and sometimes we don't even eat at all. This woman seems really nice since she gave us a free cake, but still, we can't trust her. Why is she being so nice? Why is she giving us a free cake to all the kids here just because it's her husband's birthday? She is really sus the more I think about it. Can I please have some more? This cake is amazing! Me too! I want more! Wow, I'm glad! I'm really happy that you like the cake so much. Hold on, I'll bring the cake right now. I'll be right back. I live right there, so it will only take a few minutes. What are you both doing? Are you both crazy? What? You're trusting a complete stranger who you've never met before. If a stranger randomly comes up to you and offers you food, you shouldn't just accept it like that. You need to be more cautious. Hello? Stranger danger? Yeah, Mika, we hear you. Whatever. You're only 13 years old, so you're much younger than us, and you shouldn't be lecturing us. We're older than you. Wow. I guess you both aren't as smart as I thought then, Amy and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mika. The cake is completely fine. You're just overthinking it. Look, I'm completely fine. Nothing happened to me. And the cake was amazing. Nothing suspicious going on here. <sighs> I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. What if she knows who our parents are? Mom and Dad have kept our secret from the entire world, for the most part. Nobody knows about us, Mika. They don't let us leave the house or talk to anyone outside. If they ever find out about how we visit this park every time they're out for work, they'll go crazy. They'll even hire more security to make sure we don't leave the house. So, no, there's no way that woman knows who our parents are. Here you go, more cake. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this so much. <laughs> Come on, Mika. You should try this too. What are you up to, lady? What are you up to? Lady is literally the nicest person ever. She kept giving us more and more food. We were being pretty greedy, but she never complained. <sighs> if only mom and dad could do that for us sometime. This is the first time anyone has ever been so nice to us. I love it. I didn't know people could be as nice as her. Mom and dad always told us how everyone else in the outside world's really greedy. That's why they never let us out of the house. But we all know that's just an excuse for them to not let us leave. You both are so innocent. Gosh, you can't just blindly trust someone like that. What if she has some ulterior motives? Okay, what? Ulterior motive? What are you on about? Why are you always so paranoid? We're the grown-ups over here, Mika. We can tell when someone's fishy, and I know that this lady isn't. She's just really nice. It's as simple as that. 
But why would anyone just give free food to everyone out of the kindness of their heart? And the thing that bothered me the most is that she spent the most time with us. She could have given more free food to other kids, but she kept giving it to us. Why did she spend so much time around us? <laughs> it's because we kept asking her to give us more and more food. Gosh, Meek, you're really overthinking it. Seriously, just relax. She's not dangerous. Ugh, whatever. I would suggest you try staying away from her, but if you don't want to listen to me, then that's your choice. But remember, we can't reveal our secrets to anyone. No one should know that we can cry out rubies, topaz, and amethyst. If anyone finds out, we might end up in a place even worse than we're in right now. Nothing could be worse than the house we're in right now. Mom and Dad are literally so controlling. Ugh, I can't imagine anyone worse than them. Yeah, Mika, you're right. We need to be careful not to cry in front of people outside our house. We can't let anyone find out about our secret. Anyways, we should probably get home soon. Mom and Dad could be back any minute now. What was he talking about, Harvey? Is he going to try to put our kids in danger? I don't know, but he's definitely up to no good. I know that man very well. He's going to try his very best to get his hands on the three kids. There's no way he's going to miss this opportunity. There's so much money to be made with them. Those kids cry gems for Pete's sake. We won't let anyone take them away from us. We should have a talk with the kids and be a bit stricter with them. Should we hire more security guards to make sure they don't leave the house when we're out? There's no need for that. They already stay at home if they're told to. My guards keep watch over them all the time. But it's more serious now. Stuart literally threatened us. We need to take every precaution we can. He knows our secret now. We need to make sure it doesn't go out to the public. We also need to make sure he doesn't get the kids. <sighs> Fine, do whatever you want. You can hire more security if you want to. I also need to talk to the kids. Bring them here. Bring them here yourself. Kids, we need to talk about something. It's really serious. No, this isn't good. Did they figure out that we were outside? But how? How would they know? We're going to be hiring even more security guards. You kids are in more danger now, so we need extra security to protect you. More danger? What do you mean? I don't have time to explain to you. Just accept what we're doing. Stuart is trying to play his dirty mind games, and there's a chance that you might get hurt because of them. But... I thought no one knew about us. We never even go outside, right? Stop asking me so many questions. Just listen and do as I say. You've already been staying in this house and not going out your whole lives, right? So just continue doing that. Just be a little more conscious about your surroundings, that's all. And there's going to be a lot more security in this house from now on. All right, Dad, we'll do whatever you say. Good, that's what we like to hear. Don't even think about leaving the house. Ever, no matter what. about why do mom and dad look so worried did something happen no idea something must have happened at the jewelry store they were really happy once they got all the rubies and other gems from us they said they were going to have some more money than ever before because of one customer or something like that but they don't look so happy right now dad mentioned Stuart, didn't he he's dad's longtime rival remember Oh yeah, that guy. So he's up to no good, huh? Yeah, seems like it. I don't know what he's planning, but it was enough to freak out mom and dad. So it's probably something really serious. Oh well, it doesn't matter. No one in the world knows about us, so we'll be safe. I'm not so sure about that, but yeah, it's 
probably nothing to worry about. Let's go to the park again tomorrow. Are you both kidding me? Didn't you see how worried mom and dad looked? They're hiring more security guards. They've never done that before. It must be for a good reason. You need to learn to chill out, Mika. We're the grown-ups. We know what we're doing. If you don't want to come with us, then just stay in your room. We're not forcing you to come with us. Hey, that's pretty rude. Don't talk to her like that, Craig. She's just being way too paranoid about every little thing. It's really ticking me off. I'm not being paranoid. I'm being realistic. I'm using my brain. You should try doing that, too. Oh, wait. You don't even have one in the first place. Mika, you're making me lose my patience. All right, all right. Calm down, you two. Just go to sleep. We'll decide what to do tomorrow. Besides, it's probably going to be really difficult to sneak out of the house if mom and dad are hiring more security guards. No, we won't. Mom and dad don't know about the secret route that leads outside. No one does. Not even the security guards. We're the only ones that know. So no matter how many security guards they hire, we'll always be able to get out. Okay, Craig. We'll decide tomorrow, like I said. For now, let's just go to sleep and not think about mom and dad for a second. Dad, we're kidding. There are a lot more security guards now. See? I told you. That means we can't leave the house. Don't worry. I know exactly how to trick them. It's all about being sneaky. Think of this as side and seek. We've played it so many times before. They won't know what's coming. Remember, if you're caught, then it's all over. So just be quiet and follow my lead. Don't do it. You're going to get busted! Seems like a lot of fun. I'll try it. You can't be serious right now. Right, my turn. Ugh, I can't believe you two. 